Magandang magandang umaga mga kapatid. Welcome once again to our daily morning devotion. I hope and pray na lahat po tayo ay handa muli para sa ating uh, pag-aral ng salita ng Panginoon. At at the same time, sa panalangin ng ating family and even our marriage lives, our children, our relationship, and most specially, uh, let's pray na patuloy tayo ikatan ng Panginoon at kabayan lalong-lalo na sa times of trials, times of sufferings, and times of pains because we do believe by faith that God is working in our lives and through our lives. So, our scripture reading for today will be found in James chapter 5, verse 13 to 18. It says here, Are any of you suffering hardships? You should pray. Are any of you happy? You should sing praises. Are any of you sick? You should call for the elders of the church to come and pray over you, anointing you with oil in the name of the Lord. Such prayer offered in faith will heal the sick, and the Lord will make you well. And if you have committed any sins, you will be forgiven. Confess your sins to each other and pray for each other so that you may be healed. The earnest prayer of a righteous person has great power and produces wonderful results. Elijah was as human as we are, and yet when he prayed earnestly that no rain would fall, none fell for three and a half years. Then when he prayed again, the sky sent down rain and the earth began to yield its crop. Basahin ko rin naman sa Tagalog version, sinabi dito sa Santiago, Kabanata 5, versikulo 13 hanggang 18. May tiisin ba ang sinuman sa inyo? Manalangin siya. May nagagalak, umawit siya ng papuri sa Diyos. Mayroon bang may sakit sa inyo? Ipatawag niyang matatanda ng iglesia upang ipanalangin siya at pahiran ng langis sa ngalan ng Panginoon. At pagagalingin ang may sakit dahil sa panalangin may pananampalataya, ibabangon siya ng Panginoon at patatawarin kung siya ay nagkasala. Kaya nga ipagtapat ninyo sa inyong kapwa ang inyong makakasalanan at ipanalangin ang isa't isa upang kayo'y gumaling. Malaki ang nagagawa ng panalangin ng taong matuwid. Si Elias ay taong tulad din natin. Mataimtim niyang dinalangin na huwag umulan at sa loob ng tatlong taon at anim na buwan ay hindi nga umulan. Muli siyang nanalangin at bumagsak ang ulan at namunga ang mga halaman. God bless his word. So, okay, mga kapatid, before we start, let us pray. Heavenly Father, we bless your name, we glorify your name on high of God. Tunay nga po, Panginoon, napakabuti mo sa buhay ng bawat isa sa amin. Ni hindi mo kami iniwanan, ni hindi mo kami pinabayaan. Sa ngayon, Ama, nandito muli kami, nagpapakumbaba, humihingi ng kapatawaran sa lahat ng aming mga kasalanan, sa isip, salita, sa gawa. Sa ngayon, Ama, nandito po kami muli, binubuksan ang aming puso at isipan upang tanggapin ang iyong mga salita na may kagalakan at kapayapaan sa aming mga puso. Patuloy na bigyan mo kami ng pangunawa, karunungan at kaalaman para maintindihan po namin ang iyong mga salita at isa buhay namin sa pang-araw-araw na aming paglalakbay dito sa mundong ibabaw. Naniniwala at nananampalataya po kami na mayroong kang gagawin na matindi sa aming buhay para sa iyong karangalan at kaluwalhatian. Tulungan mo kami na patuloy kami magkaroon ng kasi maging masigasig para sa gayon, lahat ng mga pagsubok sa buhay namin, lahat ng mga trials, lahat ng mga sufferings 
sa aming mga buhay, patuloy namin na mapagtagumpayan dahil alam po namin na napagtagumpayan mo na Panginoong Heso Kristo sa krus ng Kalbaryo. Tulungan mo kami na maniwala't manampalataya lamang sa inyo at sa iyong ginawa na sa aming mga buhay. Maraming salamat po sa biyaya mo, sa pag-ibig mo na patuloy na dumadaloy sa buhay ng bawat isa sa amin. Manahan ka, Panginoon, sa aming mga buhay ng iyong banal na presensya dahil wala po kaming magagawa kung wala ka sa aming buhay. Pinagkatiwala po namin ang aming devotion na ito sa iyong mapagpalang kamay. Patuloy mo po palain ang aking mga kapatid na nakikinig sa oras na ito kasama kanilang buong sambayanan. At buong puso namin, binimigay muli sa iyo mata sa papuri, pagsamba, pagluwalhati at pasasalamat sa matamis na pangalan ng Panginoong Heso Kristo. Amen and Amen. So, ang title ng ating uh, devotion sa araw na to ay The Power of Prayer. Nabasa din natin doon sa scripture reading tungkol dito sa binanggit ni James na ang ating panalangin ay tinutugon ng ating Panginoon. So, paano natin masasabi na makapangyarihan ang ating panalangin? Number one is, prayer is powerful when we acknowledge that God's will is revealed in His Word. Kung napakinggan nyo po yung mensahe ni Sister Olive last Friday, Patungkol din po doon sa paano tayo manalangin na ayon sa kalooban at plano ng Panginoon sa ating buhay. At ganun din po sinabi sa 1 John 5.14 This is the confidence we have in approaching God that if we ask anything according to His will, He hears us. So dito, Maging effective ang prayer natin kung naayon sa kalooban ng Panginoon doon sa mga pangako niya sa ating buhay. Lahat na nakikita natin na nababasa natin doon sa kasul- banal na kasulatan, if we really believe by faith na ito ay kalooban ng ating Panginoon and if we are really sensitive with the power of the Holy Spirit in our lives na if ever na magkaroon tayo ng mga problems trials in our lives nandun pa rin yung uh, buhay natin ay naayon sa kalooban at plano ng Panginoon sa ating buhay at pangalawa po paano maging effective or powerful ang ating prayer. Our prayer is powerful when our hearts are full of gratitude in good times and in bad times. Kagaya nung binasa natin kanina doon sa uh, James chapter 5 verse 13, sinabi doon, Is any of you suffering hardships? You should pray. Are any of you happy? You should sing praises. So, in good times and bad times, with blessings or no blessings in our lives, andun pa rin yung pagpapasalamat sa ating puso. Dahil sinabi nga ng Panginoon sa 1 Thessalonians 5.18, Give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. So, sinabi dito, lahat lahat, hindi sinabi some of your circumstances, kundi all of our circumstances. So, in good times, in bad times, let us always have a grateful heart, yung mapagpasalamat na puso, dahil in every situation in our lives, there's a divine purpose kung bakit inaallow ni Lord sometimes yung mga trials, problems, mga sickness, or sufferings in our lives, dahil gusto ng Panginoon na lalo tayong maging malapit sa Kanya at lalo tayong magtiwala at manampalataya sa Kanya. So third, paano maging effective ang prayer natin? So prayer is powerful when we believe by faith 
that God is always faithful to fulfill His promises in our lives. So, binasa natin na scripture reading sa verse 15 sabi, Such a prayer offered in faith will heal the sick, and the Lord will make you well. And if you have committed any sins, you will be forgiven. So, napakalinaw po ang pangako ng Panginoon na kapag manampalataya tayo, maniwala na ang Panginoon ay gagawin niya, gagawin niya. Dahil God will never lie. Yun yung isang attribute ng ating Panginoon. That God never changes. That He is always faithful to all of all His promises in our lives. Kaya sinabi din dito, if we really confess our sins, He's always just and faithful to forgive us and purify us from all our righteousness. Kapag nandun yung puso natin na nandun yung pagpapakumbaba sa ating puso, we acknowledge na uh, we are sinners, we fall short of the glory of God, na we really need a Savior, we really need God in our lives, that we cannot do anything apart from Him. So, dito natin makikita yung pagkilos ng paginoon sa ating buhay. Lahat naman po tayo dumadaan sa mga different trials, different pains, sufferings, or even sicknesses. Dahil sometimes, God allow it for us to be totally dependent unto Him. So, kapag binasa din natin dito, it's, it's not only physical sickness, kundi sometimes it refers to spiritual sickness. Sometimes, mga ka ibang kapatiran natin or ibang member ng ating family or some of our friends na nangangailangan talaga ng encouragement, nangangailangan talaga ng mga words of hope or encouragement sa kanilang mga buhay, maging sensitive din po tayo sa leading of the Holy Spirit kasi sometimes uh, God use uh, us for us to be an inspiration, sometimes an encourager sa lahat ng mga nangihina, lalo na sa mga kapatiran natin na panan kapatiran natin ng pananampalataya because that's God's will for us na maging uh, united din tayo as one family in Christ na patuloy din tayo na we need to be have that transparency kumbaga maging uh, maging totoo tayo sa sarili natin at maging totoo tayo sa Panginoon at the same time sa ating kapwa or especially to our brethren or ating mga kapatiran. So, at paano natin, pangapat po, paano natin masasabi na our prayer is powerful? Prayer is powerful when we acknowledge Christ's righteousness over our lives. Lahat po naman tayo ang ating katwiran. Our righteousness, it's not of who we are, but of what Christ has done for us. It's the righteousness of Christ that we have in our lives, that we have this right standing with God. At dito, ma if we really, really acknowledge na God is righteous in our lives, at sinasabuhay din natin yung kalooban at plano ng Panginoon sa ating buhay. And we have that pure heart, meaning, uh, Yung, yung buhay natin ay naayon lagi doon sa kalaoban ng Panginoon. And at the same time, yung total dependence natin sa Kanya, yung total obedience natin sa Kanya. Because sometimes, uh, distractions, temptations is always there around us. But if we really have that uh, conviction in our lives na patuloy pa rin tayo na we say no, to the worldly things in our lives and we say yes to God then we are really uh, acknowledging that we are living as Christ likeness in our lives we are reflecting God's Christ likeness in our lives so sinabi do sa verse 16 diba sinabi confess your sins to each other and pray for each other so that you may be healed the earnest prayer of a righteous person has great power and produces and produces 
wonderful results. So, dito natin makikita na if we have that fervent prayer, earnest prayer in our lives na yung, mot, yung butibo ng ating mga puso ay naayon doon sa katwiran ng ating Panginoong Heso Kristo sa ating buhay. We are being assured that God will heal us, that God will answer our prayers according to His purpose and plan in our lives. So, first, yun po yung first, prayer is powerful when we acknowledge Christ's righteousness over our lives. And last but not the least, prayer is powerful when God's love is the ultimate motivation to touch others' lives in His name. So, kinakailangan din po natin na ang motibo ng ating puso ay naayon doon, nakaangkla doon sa pag-ibig ng Panginoon sa ating buhay for us to be a blessing to others. Maging agent of transformation tayo na kinakailangan din natin na ang daladala natin ay yung pag-ibig. Ito yung ultimate motivation natin. Yung pag-ibig ng Panginoon sa ating buhay. Because we cannot give if we don't have. So, kinakailangan natin, we need to have that godly love in our lives so that we can also share it to others. Yun po, for the glory of His name. So, kagaya po, dito tinukoy ni James si Prophet Elijah. Si Prophet Elijah, di ba, siya yung, uh, during the time of King Ahab and Jezebel, in the uh, Old Testament, nabasa natin yung story niya na he is one of the prophet talaga na ginamit ng Panginoon to destroy the works of the enemy or the idol worship of Baals. Kung natatandaan nyo po yung story noon na nagtagumpay siya nung time na yun. And during that time, during because of the rebellious spirit of all the Israelites before, uh, Elijah prayed for for rain and at sinabi for, for the God's judgment nung time na yon. nag-pray talaga siya na sana mawala na yung ulan and it really it really didn't rain for almost three and a half years at doon nakikita nila na uh, ang panalangin ni Elijah because deep in his heart na he really he really hates sin and at the same time para ipaunawa talaga na mayroon siyang Diyos na buhay Diyos na tagumpay at Diyos na papagmahal so after that during that three and a half years na drought nag pray din ulit siya sa verse 18 sinabi then when he prayed again the sky sent down rain and the earth began to yield its crop so napakabuti po ang Panginoon if really pray earnestly pray fervently with passion with, with God the love in our hearts na alam po natin na it's not for ourselves but it's for the Lord and to, to fulfill his uh, kingdom purposes here on earth at doon siya, nung nag-pray ulit siya, umulan at nagbunga ng marami. Di po ba? God is a God of miracles. He is a promise-keeping God. And He is a covenant-maker God. Kaya mga kapatid, let's continue to be uh, faithful in all our prayers. Now we will pray it out of our hearts na patuloy tayong manali, manampalataya, kagaya ni Elijah. When he prayed earnestly to the Lord, the Lord hears, the Lord answers. So kinakailangan lang po natin as we continue, we acknowledging God's will over our lives, having a grateful heart in good times and in bad times. And also, we believe by faith that God is always faithful to fulfill His promise and promises in our lives. 
and we always acknowledge Christ's righteousness over our lives and at the same time let the motivation of our hearts be with godly love as we touch others life in his name so dito natin makikita mga kapatid that God answers prayers at siguro kung meron ka ngayon pinagpipray na hindi pa tinutugon ng Panginoon just wait kapatid never lose hope patuloy kang manalig at manampalataya panghawakan mo yung pangako ng Panginoon sa iyong buhay so let's pray Heavenly Father we bless your name we glorify your name on high O God tunay nga po napakabuti mo sa buhay ng bawat isa sa amin sometimes Lord we are disobedient we are unfaithful to you we have many shortcomings O God but then Lord we are so thankful because through the power of your Holy Spirit you are reminding us that we will continue to acknowledge you that in good times in bad times we always have that a grateful heart a thankful heart and even father sa aming mga buhay we continue to trust in your name we continue to have faith and believe in all your promises in our lives lalong lalo na sa aming mga families continue to restore broken relationships broken homes and even lord broken relationships continue god to let your word penetrate in our lives in our hearts so that we'll be able to live your word in a way that will please you and a way that we will be blessed and be a blessing to others for your greater glory and honor we live up also unto you father ang aming mga members of our families who are suffering from any physical and spiritual sickness even with mental depressions anxieties lord we entrust every one of them unto your perfect hands that by your stripes they are all being healed we thank you father for your promises in jeremiah 17 14 heal them lord and they will be healed save them and they will be saved for you are the one we praise and even Lord sa mga pamilya Panginoon na who are suffering right now with misunderstanding, conflicts mayroon man hindi magkakasundo Father, we pray right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth to rebuke the spirit of misunderstanding the spirit of unforgiveness and let your spirit of love prevail in every homes and every families bind each family members with your harmonious relationship with your love that continues to flow and your grace that abounds in every lives we thank you father because you are a god of restoration you are a god of many chances please help us to overcome all the fears worries and anxieties in our lives and replace it with the fruit of your holy spirit which you promised in Galatians 5, 22-23, where the fruit of the Holy Spirit is love, joy, peace, goodness, gentleness, kindness, patience, perseverance, and self-control. We thank you, Father. Let your words ingrain in our hearts and in our lives that we will continue to do your will as you fulfill your purpose and plans in our lives. We live up unto you, every children in a family continue to empower them with spiritual knowledge and wisdom give them a pure heart a pure mind that they will continue to grow in the grace and knowledge of you lord jesus christ we thank you father for your divine mercy and protection your divine grace your provisions your love and mercy that sustain us every day to you alone we give our highest praises, highest honor, highest thanksgiving, highest adoration. In the mighty, sweet, precious, holy name of Jesus Christ we pray. Amen and Amen. Mga kapatid, thank you so much. I hope and pray that the word of God will inspire us, will encourage us, and give us direction every day of our lives for His greater glory and honor. Thank you and God bless. We love you with the love of the Lord. Bye.